By 2026, nobody will have the patience to wait an hour at a charging station anymore. And the most curious thing is that, even with so many advances in electric cars, the technological heart of these vehicles, the battery, still carries the same problems as a decade ago. Lithium, once considered the white gold of mobility, has become a thorn in the side of manufacturers like Tesla. The reason? It's becoming increasingly expensive, more unstable, and, ironically, less reliable by the standards of a revolution that promises speed, range, and practicality. Today, a lithium-ion battery represents between 30 and 40 percent of the cost of an electric car. This means that almost half of what you pay is concentrated in a component that ages quickly, loses efficiency over time, and still carries a thermal risk that scares many people. Just a quick look at EV owner forums reveals a common fear. What if the car catches fire? It's not fiction. When lithium undergoes thermal collapse, the risk of combustion increases, and there is no cooling system that completely solves this type of situation. But it doesn't stop there. The issue of degradation is another Achilles' heel. After approximately 1,500 complete charge and discharge cycles, these batteries begin to lose capacity significantly. For the average consumer, this translates to less range, more frequent stops to charge, and, of course, more headaches. It's like buying a car with a 1,000 km to range that, after two years, doesn't even reach 600 km sir. And all this at a high price, both when buying and when maintaining. Now, imagine you decide to hit the road with your family for the weekend. Everything's planned, bags in the trunk, playlist ready, but you need to make three stops to recharge for 40 minutes each on a 600 kilometer trip. It sounds like a joke, but it's still the reality for many electric car owners, especially in countries where the infrastructure hasn't kept pace with the marketing. And it's at this point that many people give up on the EV idea and go back to the old reliable combustion engine. Another problem that became more of a concern in 2026 is the almost total dependence on China's supply chain. From mining to lithium refining, more than 60% of all global operations take place in Chinese territory. In an increasingly tense geopolitical scenario, this has become a strategic risk. Any blockade, trade conflict, or sanction could halt global battery production. And this directly affects vehicle prices, delivery schedules, and even the stability of factories. And worse, no matter how much companies try to find alternative routes, the cost of lithium continues to rise. In 2023, the increase reached almost 400% at some points. In 2026, even with small market respites, it is still a volatile commodity. What was supposed to be the key element in the democratization of electric cars has become a barrier. Literally, lithium has become the bottleneck, an obstacle that, if not overcome, could slow down the entire industry at a time when the world demands speed. Some experts are already talking about lithium fatigue, toot, not because the element has stopped working, but because it's clear that it has a ceiling, and that ceiling is getting closer and closer. With each new launch, the promises are high, more range, faster charging speeds, more efficiency, but behind the scenes, engineers are peering at the same physical and economic limits that have haunted them since the beginning of the decade. And this is starting to become unsustainable for an industry that promised to be the future. Charging in five minutes. Up to five times longer lifespan. More affordable price, safer, and with abundant raw materials. It doesn't seem like a distant dream, but rather the bold proposal of the aluminum ion battery that in 2026 finally threatens to dethrone the old reign of lithium. If the experts are right, what is about to happen with electric vehicles can be compared to what fiber optics did to dial up internet, a quantum leap. And the company betting heavily on this shift is Tesla, which doesn't just want to participate in the revolution, it wants to lead it with full force. While lithium still struggles with its limitations, aluminum arrives with numbers that leave no room for doubt. 
Starting with charging time, only 5 to 10 minutes for a full charge. That's equivalent to a pit stop. You have time to grab a coffee, stretch your legs, and presto, the car is fully charged. This is a stark contrast to the 20 to 60 minutes required by traditional batteries, which have become a source of frustration at the busiest charging stations. If this technology lives up to its promises, the way we use electric cars will be completely transformed. And what about durability? Instead of the 2500 cycles that lithium usually offers before showing signs of wear, aluminum can reach 10,000 cycles. 10,000. That means driving for many years without feeling the autonomy melting away over time. For those who plan to own a car for more than half a decade, or for a fleet of robotaxis running 24 hours a day, this resistance translates into fewer replacements, less maintenance, and much greater savings in the long run. A true paradigm shift. Another point worth noting is thermal safety. Aluminum has much greater stability compared to lithium, which drastically reduces the risk of overheating and fire. And this isn't just a technical detail. We're talking about the peace of mind of driving without that lingering apprehension, especially on hot days or after a long trip. With this new chemistry, the fear of seeing a car on fire becomes a thing of the past. It means more confidence behind the wheel and fewer negative headlines in the newspapers. Price also comes into play. Aluminum is abundant, cheaper, and present in various regions of the world, which helps reduce costs from extraction to cell assembly. While lithium suffers from constant fluctuations, scarcity, and trade wars, aluminum is everywhere, from Australia to Brazil, from the United States to Canada. This makes the process more predictable, less subject to sanctions, and much more stable from a strategic point of view, an advantage that could accelerate the global adoption of EVs. Another interesting detail is that this battery, in addition to being more efficient, can be integrated into lighter design concepts. Because aluminum is less dense, cars can weigh less and therefore gain even more range per kilowatt hour. It's as if the vehicle becomes more energy savvy without the driver having to make any effort. The result? A car that goes further, consumes less fuel, and is also more environmentally friendly. A side-by-side -side comparison starkly reveals the differences. While lithium still needs more than half an hour to recharge, lives on the edge of thermal instability, and begins to degrade after a few years, aluminum offers express recharging, enhanced safety, and a long lifespan. It's like comparing a DVD to a streaming service. Both work, but the experience is radically different. And once people experience this new sense of energy freedom, going back will be difficult. Meanwhile, on Tesla's drawing board, the Model 2 is beginning to take shape as the ultimate weapon to democratize electric cars. And it's no exaggeration to say that if aluminum ion technology is truly ready for the main stage in 2026, this model could break more than just sales records. It could shatter the mental pattern that electric cars are for the elite. The goal is ambitious, to launch a complete EV for under $20,000, something between 17799 and $19,999. A price that seems like a joke compared to what's currently seen on the market. But the key to this feat lies precisely in the batteries. The equation is simple, yet powerful. If the battery represents almost 40% of the cost of an electric car, drastically reducing this value opens up room to lower the final price without compromising quality, range, or performance. That's exactly what aluminum ion technology promises. A brutal cut in production costs without sacrificing the user experience. And if it works, Tesla could be the first automaker to deliver a long-range, fast charging, and affordable EV, all in the same package. Something that even the traditional giants haven't managed to achieve so far. But the Model 2 doesn't just want to be affordable. It wants to be practical, efficient, and reliable in any scenario, from chaotic urban traffic to the most extensive highways. 
The expectation is that the version equipped with the new battery will achieve a range of between 900 and 1,000 kilometers. This not only solves the infamous range anxiety, but also redefines the concept of freedom on four wheels. After all, how many people do more than that on a typical trip? You can cross entire states without touching a charger, and it doesn't stop there. With charging times of five to eight minutes, the goal is to recreate the experience of refueling gasoline-powered cars. This has a huge psychological impact. People don't want to wait. They want convenience, speed, efficiency. They want to arrive, plug in the car, have a coffee, and get back on the road. And that's exactly what Tesla is trying to deliver. If successful, this change could attract a new audience that until now has turned their noses up at EVs precisely because of the charging time. Another little discussed but absolutely vital aspect is the cost per kilometer driven. Aluminum ion has the potential to reduce this cost by up to 90% when compared to fossil fuels. This is a huge leap in economic efficiency, especially in times of energy inflation and insanely high gasoline prices. For middle-class families, commercial fleets, and ride-sharing drivers, this saving can be decisive when making their choice. It's putting the power of cutting-edge technology in the hands of those who need it most. Furthermore, the extended lifespan of the new battery favors strategies such as using the Model 2 in continuous operations. And this connects directly to Tesla's plans to create a fleet of autonomous robotaxis operating 24 hours a day. A battery that can withstand 10,000 cycles without losing power is simply perfect for this type of application. Lithium, in this scenario, simply cannot handle it. It doesn't have the necessary resistance to sustain the volume of intensive use without losing capacity in a few years. And there's another point that many people forget. Maintenance. With such a long lifespan and a more stable structure, aluminum ion drastically reduces the chances of failure, overheating, and premature replacement. This means less expense, fewer visits to the repair shop, and more time with the car on the road, exactly what any user wants. The Model 2 aims to be not only inexpensive at the time of purchase, but also in everyday use. And this type of silent savings, which accumulate month after month, can build loyalty among a new generation of drivers to the brand. When discussing technological dependence, few issues are as sensitive as supply chains. And by 2026, the scenario has become even more tense. Most people don't realize it, but lithium, that essential component of current batteries, has become a strategic piece on the global geopolitical chessboard. More than 60% of lithium refining is in the hands of China, which also dominates the production of cobalt and so-called rare earth elements. The problem is not just technical, it's political. And Tesla knows this better than anyone. Dependence on a single country to keep factories running is a huge vulnerability, even more so when that country has a history of restricting exports for diplomatic or economic reasons. A simple impasse between major powers is enough to halt cargo shipments, increase component costs, and compromise entire schedules. This is not speculation. It's routine in interdependent markets. Tesla, which has always bet on autonomous production, saw in aluminum ion a real chance to escape this predicament and redesign its supply chain with more freedom. Unlike lithium, aluminum is found on a large scale in countries allied with the United States, such as Canada and Australia, and even on American soil itself. This changes everything. Instead of relying on a single route crossing oceans and tension zones, production can be decentralized, local, cheaper, and less susceptible to external crises. And when it comes to scaling millions of Model 2 units per year, this translates into huge savings and operational predictability, something any manufacturer dreams of having. Another relevant factor is the cost of the material. Aluminum is currently much cheaper and more stable in the market than lithium. While the price of lithium rises and falls like a roller coaster, 
Influenced by conflicts, inventories, and environmental regulations, aluminum maintains a more balanced margin. This allows Tesla to predict long-term costs more reliably and make decisions based on solid data, not on guesswork. The reliability of this type of supply chain is what differentiates companies that survive from those that sink in times of crisis. And there's more. By using more common and less critical raw materials, such as aluminum, Tesla also aligns itself with the new environmental regulations and green policies being demanded in the US and Europe. Lithium extraction, while strategic, is extremely aggressive to the environment. Aluminum, on the other hand, has advanced recycling processes and a more controllable ecological footprint. This can mean less bureaucracy, more tax incentives, and a cleaner public image, something vital for a brand that wants to lead the new era of mobility. Even within the gigafactories themselves, the advantages become apparent. Processing aluminum requires less special care in terms of cooling and insulation, which reduces costs and speeds up production. Furthermore, the compatibility of aluminum ion with solid-state cells paves the way for even more disruptive advances, uniting two technologies that were being researched separately. This integration could put Tesla not just one, but several steps ahead of the competition. And the strategic autonomy factor cannot be ignored. In the post-pandemic world, with constant trade tensions, any company that depends on imported critical components is in the crosshairs of the unpredictable. We've already seen this with chips, steel, fertilizers. Now, it's the turn of batteries. Tesla seems to have learned from the past and is building a path where it can control all stages, from ore to the final car, without depending on geopolitical favors. If there's one thing that separates a promising idea from a real revolution, it's the ability to produce it at scale. And that's exactly where the game starts to get tighter for aluminum ion. In the lab, everything seems magical. Controlled tests, perfect cycles, clean data. But on the factory floor, the story is different. You have to deal with yield losses, integration failures, high initial costs, and tight deadlines. Even a company like Tesla, with all its production expertise, will face growing pains in this process. And anyone who follows this market knows that the transition from experimental technology to mass production is the real battleground. Still, the signs are strong. Elon Musk has been dropping hints since 2023 about a next-generation chemistry aimed at Tesla's entry-level model. Patents on aluminum cathodes and variations with solid electrolytes have begun to appear in filings in the US and Australia. And this is not just theory. Several suppliers are being quietly hired to validate processes, optimize cells, and prepare the necessary infrastructure. The scenario fits together too precisely to be a coincidence. Market pressure also plays a role. With global demand for electric vehicles projected to explode again in 2026, especially in the sub $25,000 segment, Tesla needs to deliver more than just an affordable price. It needs to deliver a car with a real technological advantage. And in this context, aluminum ion seems to be the only option capable of fulfilling three requirements simultaneously. Faster charging, longer lifespan, and lower cost than lithium ion. Any one of these qualities would already be attractive. All three together? A game changer. But it's not all roses. Even if Tesla manages to produce cells on a small scale, the real challenge is transforming these experimental units into something replicable, reliable, and economically viable at a gigafactory pace. This is where many promising technologies have stumbled. 